Welcome back to our channel. Before we learn about the topic today, let's pray to the Father. Most High God, in the name of your beloved Son Jesus Christ, whom you sacrificed to save us your poor children from the fires of hell, please hear our prayers. I offer you our humble sacrifices. We accept trials and tribulations as a means of bringing salvation to souls during the warning. We beg you to grant forgiveness to sinners who find it difficult to turn back and accept your mercy so that they may offer you the necessary sacrifices and make atonement before your eyes. Amen. Today, we'll be talking about St. Faustina and the Second Coming. Signs, a Pope, and how St. Faustina foresaw the Second Coming. Even if we are overly wary of apocalyptic prophecy, there is no doubt for a prophecy that comes from a newly canonized saint. It was St. Maria Faustina Kowalska who revealed divine mercy, who was canonized in 2000 and whose revelations were celebrated on Sunday. Tell the world of my mercy, Jesus is said to have told her. After that will be the day of justice. You will prepare the world for my last second coming. Speak to souls about this infinite mercy of mine. For the terrible day, the day of justice, is near. The justice mentioned in some of Faustina's revelations may be related to the Second World War, just around the corner in the mid-1930s, when Faustina, a resident of Poland, received her message, but references to Christ's return signal a larger and longer scenario. Please note that we are not obligated to accept them. Although Faustina was canonized, her prophecies have yet to be officially ratified. But they certainly deserve close scrutiny, and they show that God is serious about cleansing even though people tend to focus solely on His mercy. Before the day of justice, it will be the day of mercy. Jesus told Faustina. I am prolonging the time of mercy for the benefit of sinners. But woe to them if they do not realize this time of my visit. In one entry, Blessed Faustina said, As I was praying, I heard Jesus say, I have a special love for Poland, and if she obeys my will, I'll exalt her in strength and holiness. From her will come the spark that will prepare the world for my final second coming. Is this a reference to John Paul II? We all know the Pope is from Poland, and that he ultimately played an important role in the recognition of God's mercy, culminating in his canonization of Faustina. Even if Spark refers to the fall of communism, which began in Poland, this is closely tied to John Paul, who was a secret force behind Solidarity. And according to other revelations, he was carefully selected by the Virgin, to whom he has a strong devotion. During an apparition in Medjugorje on September 3, 1981, Our Lady went to a large picture of John Paul and hugged it, smiling. She told the visionaries to look at him like everyone's father, and the visionary Marjana Saldo remarked, the light in his eyes was like that of Our Lady. Meanwhile, the famous Faustina prophecy that the sky will turn dark and will materialize a great glowing cross is strangely connected to a hidden event occurring in the 4th century. Saint Faustina's prophecy, also recorded in her diary, 
conveyed these alleged words of Jesus in the 1930s. Before I come as a just judge, I first come as the King of Mercy. Before the day of justice comes, men will be given a sign in the heavens of this kind. All the lights in heaven will be extinguished, and there will be shadows. After that, the sign of the cross will be seen in the sky, and from the splits where the Savior's hand was crucified great lights will shine forth which will illuminate the earth in a period of time. This will take place just before the last day. That prediction connects with an event recorded on Jerusalem in the 4th century by Saint Cyril of Jerusalem, a doctor of the church. In a letter to Emperor Constantius, he wrote, On days other than May, about the third hour, a great glowing cross appeared in the heavens, right over Golgotha, reaching as far as the Mount of Olives, not seen by one or two people, but clearly and clearly by the whole city. As one might think, this is not a fancy and fleeting look, but it continues for several hours together, visible to our eyes and brighter than the sun. The whole city, filled with amazement and joy at this omen, immediately ran to the church, all in unison praising Jesus Christ, God's only begotten Son. The knowns would be the 7th of May. When related to the hour of the day in the ancient church, it meant the fifth hour of the canonical seven and came at the ninth hour of the day or around 3 p.m. which St. Faustina declared as the hour of mercy nearly 1,600 years later. What do you think about today's topic? Please leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Press the bell button below to receive notifications when there are new videos. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Amen.